Hey kids, I'm Celeste. Today we're going to draw a duck. So first off, you write your name. You can't really write my name because, because it's going to be your drawing. So, so my, teacher's always say, my teacher always says, write your name. Pick up your pencil and you write your name. And then we're going to learn how to draw a duck. So the first step is draw this. And then this. And then draw this. And draw a line so you can know which one, what part is the beak and which part is the face. So, and then we'll draw an eye and we'll color it in. Well, this is going to be a fake duck, so. so we'll, and then we do a hat. Because this is a fake duck. Because ducks don't really have hats. But these and this can be the other line of it. We can color it in. And then you have to draw the neck, of course. And It's supposed to be green, but I'll just color it in whatever I got. And then we do the body, and of course we want to do the wing. And we'll do the duck feet. This is how I draw duck feet, but it's kind of like chicken feet. And I also do that tail if they have. And we'll also draw a bow tie, so you might want to use the pencil for the circle. And this. And I'll draw some polka dots. And that's how we draw a duck. Oh, hi kids, I didn't see you there. Hey, what a cool way to draw a duck. Now, I've got a duck drawing, but I feel like it's not finished yet. I'm gonna take my drawing to the next level, and I'm gonna add a background to it. Now, you can always make your own background, but check out my ideas, give them a try, and then maybe you can try a background of your own. Check it out. So, I want to create a story with this because I think that this is there's just a story dying to be told and in my imagination I'm picturing another duck and I'm gonna curve down the beak of this duck just like Celeste drew and a dividing line down the middle and this time I'm gonna make the eye kinda big and I'm gonna draw a bow but I'm gonna put it on top of her head and I'm gonna draw a duck feather because the bow is holding up a duck feather. Maybe there's a line down the middle. And I'm gonna draw a neck. And I'm going to draw nothing else because I wanna fit in a baby. Maybe there's, well, maybe it's a little kid. The little kid's mouth is closed because he's sad. It's turned down right here. A line through the middle and Maybe it's a little girl, or maybe you could draw a little boy. A circle in the middle, and then it goes up and down, and then a little bow. And the little girl has a neck, and a little wing, one, two. And then one wing is up, and you can put these little side-to-side -side motion lines, and that makes it look like she's waving. Again, straight legs, those can be, they kind of look like chicken feet. And if you really want to be fancy, you can connect it with a curving in line. And don't forget, the tail feather, of course. 
Now this is a cool trick. If you want to make something look like it's behind something else, you do not crisscross it. You pick it up and you finish on the other side. And maybe her wing is wrapped around her daughter to comfort her because she's so sad. She's waving too. And we'll put those little one, two motion lines right here. And little chicken feet. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I can curve it in and curve it in. Oh, almost forgot the tail feather. Now maybe she's saying something. If you want to make somebody say something like in a cartoon, always do the words first. Maybe she could say, don't go. Don't go. Always do the words first and then you could put a bubble around it with a line. Like that. It gets, goes from skinny to wide and then there's a little cartoon voice bubble. Now, most of the time, people draw the ground right touching the feet. But there's a kind of a cool trick. You can make the ground go up above their feet. Go from one side, pick it up, finish it on the other side. All the way to the other side, pick it up, never crisscross, go to the other side. Now it looks like they're standing on the ground. The ground is from here down. Um, let's see, let's do a row of chairs right here, diagonal line going from here down and then you could go up and then make another diagonal line right parallel to that first line make like the letter L right here the letter L and then down again another parallel line right here so one two three parallel lines with an L and then a handle Across and down, another handle from the middle, across and down, and then there's really not a lot of room, but I'm making a bench. There's a bench, and I'll thicken the legs. Pretty cool. And they're in an airport, so maybe there's another row of benches right here. I'll just draw a line down the middle, uh, down and across then down and across and all the way to the bottom and all the way to the bottom I'll go over and down over and down and well there's no more room over and down over and down and there's no more room so there's another set of chairs maybe I'll make the top a little bit thicker and you can go in and you can make the handles a little bit thicker uh, so there's chairs here there's chairs here now if they're at an airport there's big windows and in between each window is gonna be these tall like little connectors for each window piece okay so from the the top of the ground all the way up there are nice big windows so I have the same amount of space between each window. So this one is this big, so the next one should match. It's about that big. Up, and never crisscross. Always go to the other side. Up. Pick it up, go to the other side. And it looks like I have room for one more right off the edge of the page. All right, now it looks like they're in an airport. And a story starting to happen. Let's do um, let's do a curve right here, right next to the body of the, 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 the daddy bird. And uh, all the way up to touching the body. And I'm gonna switch colors. Now, if you don't have colors, that's okay. I'm gonna go across and then down. Whoops. Across, then down on this side and down on this side and I'll draw a box touching connecting it and what does that look like 
looks kind of like a briefcase. And of course I'm coloring a little bit sloppy, but I can clean it up and do a real nice job. All right, now maybe there's an airplane waiting for him. So I'm going to draw the airplane waiting for him from the side all the way across and coming down. Oh, it's almost like that dolphin that we drew last time. Comes down and forward and all the way back. There's a line from the top to here. That's the windshield. And then there's windows. And airplane windows are usually circles. And they're all spaced apart the same amount. All right. And uh, maybe there's a big wing going backwards. And maybe there's some wheels. Lines coming down and then a circle at the bottom. And then maybe there's a, a line across the top. And maybe this is where the, that's the end of the runway. And you can draw, let's zoom in to this one. I'm going to draw a plane flying away. Now, you just sort of draw like a, uh, an oval, almost. But you make it sticking out a little extra at the bottom. A little lump at the bottom. And uh, kind of come up to the top, like that. And a line here and a line going up, and then a line, how do, how do you do a plane anyway? Yeah, you go uh, a line going this way, so it's almost like a triangle right here, and a triangle right there, and then we need a tall triangle, the standing up part. And then for the wing, the wing is about halfway down a line that's parallel that goes along with the oval then a line perpendicular and then on the other side and then you make it come back and connect back and connect and again you can have all your little windows and don't forget there's little engines right here that's where the fans, not fans, the little uh, propellers are, and this plane is flying away. So here we have a picture of a duck, a daddy duck leaving on a business trip, and his wife and his daughter are very sad and they don't want him to go, but he's got to go. And maybe there's a tear, because it's really hard for them to see their daddy. Man, this is actually a pretty sad picture. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed out. You can add more clouds. You I mean you can you can really go crazy with details on this. I'd like to see what kind of details you come up with. See if this works out for you. I uh, can't wait to see what you did. Bring it to art class.